head out, touching the earth or your floor, feeling very connected with where you are right now. And again, think of standing tall as if you were a puppet and you had uh, a marionette string coming from the top of your head. Chin level, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, knees nice and soft. Let's breathe up. And sink and blow the air out. Now, as we're warming up and doing our focusing energy breaths, you got a couple options. You can breathe in through the nose and then cleanse with an exhale. Or you can breathe in through the nose and do a very slow out the nose and mouth together. So you can choose whichever way feels like it's what you need this morning. Breath in. So just imagining that you're bringing yourself inward, your focus is towards your body, your energy, your movement. And again. Now let's bring that energy, scoop it up and bring it up to the heavens and reach out. Now when you go back and around, squeeze your shoulder blades together so you're beginning to warm up the back. Push palms up, out and around. Good. Pull the energy. This is called supporting heaven like a pillar. Breath in. And up and out. Let's do it one more time. And out. So let's begin to do a little lower body movement. Just kind of shift side to side. So I'm lifting my toe, also give a little extra um, lower leg stretch. But as you're shifting, again, your hips are square. You've got the column, shoulders to hips, body stacked one on the other. But as you move, it's all one column as opposed to like this. Yeah. Bringing those toes up, go a little deeper and a little bigger stretch. Now just let your arms kind of swing as you go side to side, just to warm them up a bit. Good. Now you see right now our body's low because we're lifting the toes and just shifting. Now let's change it a bit and let's lift up in between. So you bend and you lift. Good. Still face in front right now. We're gonna add a spiral in a second to begin to get the core engaged. Now this time as we go to the right, lift and turn, lift and turn. Bend and lift, good. So we're still staying stacked, but we're turning our hips, moving with the energy coming from your Dantean. And as you turn, you get that core, your back, your abs engaged. Very good. One more. Now come back to the center and just beat the drum. So as you're turning side to side, your arms are just freely banging against your side, so to speak. One going in the back of your lower back. And the other one swings the other way. Good. Just again, warming up your core, getting those spirals, squeezing those internal organs so they wake up, better blood flow, more optimum work in your abdomen, your stomach, your intestines, your liver. Now tap your hand up on your shoulder. So one goes behind your back and one goes to your shoulder. Good. Last four. Good. And just let the body kind of stop on its own. Very good. Let's do our Tai Chi taps. We're going to get everything nice and awake this morning. Up and down the arm two times. And let's go the other arm. Up and down. Good. Across the chest. There's Charlie. And down to your abdomen. Just warm up all those internal organs. Good. And around.
around to your lower back and back around. Now just chop down the inner thighs and then up the outside. Come across the hip, inner thigh, and up the outside. One more time. I like to do the legs and threes. And now how about the tops of the thighs? Don't forget the top of your feet and up the back of your body and across the hips and down the front. Back. Good. A couple more. Looking great. Back into the lower back one more time. And across to the abdomen one more time. Waking everything up. Now let's work up to the back of the neck, fingertips on your scalp, a little mini scalp massage, bringing that blood flow to your hair follicles, and then across the forehead for tension, migraines, headaches, into the temples for the same, underneath the eyes, which helps open the, those sinuses, and then underneath your nose, across your lip, Jaw for tension and chin. Good. And linger any place else you feel like you need to uh, repeat or go back to. And shake it out. Shake your legs out. And then lift your knees a couple of times. Good. I think we got everything sufficiently awake. Let's go back to our horse stance. And do our easy breath up and then let the energy fall. So as if air is lifting you up and pressing you down. Breath. This is actually our opening pose in Tai Chi. So it's a way to just begin your movement, centering your body, feeling the energy lift you and pressing that energy down. Again. One more. Good. Shifting the weight left. You've got your left arm on top for your ball of energy. Let's shift right. Same thing. So we're just shifting, creating our ball of energy. Now remember when you do this, I know it's easy to think of wanting to lift the elbow and like make a square. But remember, shoulders stay relaxed. Upper arms really stay by your body. And the energy is just created between your sternum and your pubic bone. Good. Now, as we shift to the left, you're going to turn your right toe into your bow step and let's do our ward off, our parting wild horse's mane. Come back to the center, shift right, same thing left. So by now, most of you guys should be familiar with this. We've been doing it for a while. Shift right and center. So now that we do know what we're supposed to be doing, it's time to kind of perfect or work a little bit more on perfecting the movement with the energy, just focusing on the energy. And really in, in Tai Chi, Qigong, all the uh, Eastern movements, they're very gentle. Less is more. So and the fluidity is just so good for the circle of energy throughout your body. And to the right. And just pull it in. Breath. And then you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Come back to center again. One more time. Now let's build up on it with grasping the bird by the tail. Shifting right. Now to bring that arm up as if you were holding a gentle bird's nest. Bring it down by your hip as you rotate. It comes up by your ear. And then that nest turns into wings. And press gently away. Good. And then you retreat. You press back and push out. Good. Right arm on top as you come in again. Shifting left. Good. Bring both arms together. Shift and turn your body. And do those wings press away. And retreat. And push. 
All right, so left arms up, breath, exhale. Then you would inhale here, exhale as you come around. Breath in, release the breath as you push away. Good, and if you can't remember when to breathe, just breathe a good flow in and out, that's the main thing creating oxygen flow throughout the body, making the movements fluid, gentle, and yet strong. Good, let's keep doing a few more. It's a beautiful movement. It's one of my favorites. I think that's why we do it all the time. And push. Really imagine as you're doing it this time that the movement is coming from your hips, from your core, from your dantian, and the arms are just following the direction that your hips move. Push. Right. We do this one without talking. Very good. Now just come back in with your energy ball. Press. Come together. Close. So we're just going back to the, the ward off. And center. And push. Good. Now back to center. Left arm is on top. You're going to squeeze that energy. Turn your palms away and reach up and around and squeeze and down. Breath, exhale, squeezing that energy. Breath, this is called separating heaven and earth. We're, we're in the middle between heaven and earth, creating wonderful energy that we spread out to others. Good positive energy. Now let's go from here, bring both arms up, sinking that energy, and let's shift side to side. So we're gonna go back to a little bit bigger movement and get ready for our bow and arrow sequence, working a little bit on balance and warming up the lower body a bit more. All right, so the next time as we go right, you're gonna turn that um, body and your leg, pull your bow, Release, and the other way. Good. Press, release. When you pull that elbow back, you can really squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. Wonderful for opening the chest and strengthening that upper back for posture. And it also does help with your balance, of course. Good. Now this time, let's do a T-step. So as we come in, bring that leg in, step out, bring that leg in. So it might take a few times to get the fluidity of pulling it in and taking it back out. Good. If you're like me, one side is always better than the other because one knee is stronger. But also remember when you're doing your balancing, pull your core muscles in, soften your supporting knee and squeeze your glute. That really does help with balance. Now let's try it with the knee. Go ahead and pull the knee in and down. Knee in, good. So just do this till you feel more comfortable. Feel stronger, better balanced. So 
Now this time, let's get that knee in. Let's try to balance. You've got your chair if you need it. Pull in, bend that supporting knee and bring it up. Hold that pose. Very good. Take it to the other side. You know, use this as your prep position. And then lift. As you see, I'm not quite as strong on that one. And once again. And release, let's try it with the kick. So just come in and kick and down. You can do the kick as fast or as slow as you'd like. And you can keep a knee if you don't feel like doing a kick. Fast kick or slow kick? That's where that good martial arts movement comes in. And you might, could use this someday. All right, one more time each side. Very good. Just let it swing. Good job. Now turn your body to the right. Again, remembering hips and shoulders stay one on top of the other. And let's pull that energy in and push it away. Great, great exercise for the upper back and to open the chest. Helps to remind you to stand upright, keeping that chest open so the heart can work better. The lungs can take in more air with each breath and your body's better balanced. Not to mention the strengthening by squeezing those shoulder blades. Breath in, push out, breath in. Taking the breath in when the shoulders are pulled back so you get um, optimum oxygen when the chest is open. <sighs> Good. One more. And just bring the arms over and close and get ready to go the other way. Pull back and push. Good. Big stretch. <sighs> Very good. Couple more. Last one. And back to the center. Breath up. Sinking that energy. Let's go ahead and roll over. And now if we can uh, warm up the back a bit. So roll over. You've still got your body balanced over the balls to the heels of your feet. Just let it hang. Just feel a nice pull beginning in your lower back. Now eyes open, uncurl. Pulling your belly button in as you uncurl. Reach up again. Big breath. Sink that energy, soften the knees, and round your body. And this time, if you feel able to stretch a little bit further, go a little further. Let your head dangle. Let the gravity pull the top of your head to the floor. That energy flow in what they call the reed channel down the back of the body from the head, up through the legs, over the back of the body and down. Eyes open. Knee soft, belly button in as you uncurl. Let's do it one more time. Breath up. Soften those knees. Curl your body down. Let your body go even a little deeper. And when you're hanging like this, if you need extra support, put your hands on your thighs. Just let it stretch. Eyes open. I want you to curl about halfway up. Place your hands on your thighs. 
And now push your chest and body out flat like a tabletop. So you're leaning a little bit more forward toward the balls of the foot with your weight. Your knees are a little straighter, they're never locked, but this should help you feel a bigger stretch down the back of your body, not so much your back right now, but across the hips and the backs of your thighs. Abs, pull them in as if they were like a sling supporting your body. Squeezing the shoulder blades, so it's a whole different stretch, but it feels awesome. Now take a breath, soften the knees and round your body again. So now we're going to do like a yoga cat cow stretch. Curl. And then exhale, press the chest forward. Straighten the legs a bit. Good. Body flat like a tabletop. This is also called a yoga tabletop pose. Breath. Soften and round. Breath. And push out. Wonderful. Good, now soften again, curl. We're going to go ahead and curl all the way up. And bring the arms up again. Soften. Now turn your palms forward, press your chest forward, turn your head to the right. Qigong move, wise owl turns her head. Shoulder blades back, chest open. Breath. So let your body curl forward slightly. Then exhale and open to the left. Let your neck turn as far as it will go. Stretching those muscles in your neck. Breath and uh, roll down. And exhale and open. And breath. And to the left and open. Good, and back to center. This time, pull up, supporting heaven like a pillar, and out, bring your feet closer together. Now I'd like for you to step left, tap right, step right, tap left. Now, when you're beginning, again, get your position here with your hips and shoulders in alignment. Knees soft, start thinking of pulling those abs in tight. And we're going to go into our golden rooster. So as we step left, right arm comes up, body stays still, knee up, shifting over, and knee. So what we want to try to do is make this very fluid. It may take a couple of times to practice. Breath, exhale. Good. Breath in and out. Good. Wonderful. Looks good. Now this time, let's try it two times. It won't be quite as big of a fluid movement, but it'll challenge your support and your balance. And good. Breath. All right, let's try it one more time on each side. Good. Now this time I want you to step left and just tap your toe. So it's like an empty step. All my weight is on the left leg. Then I'm going to step right and empty my left foot. So step, empty, step, empty. Good. We're going to do a movement called needle at the bottom of the C. So as we step to the left, right, right foot is empty, left arm is going to come up. You're going to lean forward and just imagine that you were circling your fingertips across the top of a pool of water. Then lift up, and as you step right, left arm comes down, left leg forward, right arm up, 
needle at the bottom of the C. Lift up. In Tai Chi, they say this is a movement where you can reflect on yourself. Because if you were leaning down and had your fingertips in the pool of water, you would see your reflection. What would you see? Down into circle. Lift up. Once again, stepping right foot up. And lift up. And step left foot. And come back to the center. Horse stance, breath up. And soften and sink. And now let's let that wild bird inside of us fly. Just imagining whatever bird, a beautiful bald eagle, a wonderful hawk, beautiful swan, whatever you might envision. Just imagine how free you would be flying with that wind underneath your wings. So easy flow up and down. Good. Breath in, out. One more. Bring that energy in. Supporting heaven like a pillar up and stretch out. One more. And out. Very good. I want you to shift your weight left, turning your toes right into a bow step. Lunge into it. Now um, we're getting ready to do some of our yoga poses. So when we turn this way, you may want to open. I like to open that leg a bit because then if I need to pivot, I've got a little more space as opposed to having them back aligned side to side. So it just gives you a little more flexibility. And as I turn in yoga, I do tend to rotate on the ball of my foot. So turning to the right. Um, remembering that you never want your knee to go way out over your toes, so it might bend a bit out, but not ever out over. Turning to the right, think of pushing that hip forward, so the movement begins by pushing your hip here, which gives you that wonderful stretch in your hip flexor. Breath up, warrior one, so you open by retracting those shoulder blades, looking up toward the corner of your ceiling and your wall. Find um, something to focus on and just breathe three to five good full focused breaths. Turn your body forward. Bring the arms down shoulder level. Remember, keep those shoulder blades retracted. Turning again in that direction and bend into warrior two. So and imagine those arms straight out like a board or airplane wings. Eyes gazing out over the fingertips and breathe and focus. Breath. Now reverse. Straighten that knee. Tilt your body, still keeping it tall, very lifted, and the palm turns in so that your shoulder comes down, and eyes gaze up wherever you're comfortable gazing. But in this one, we're still lengthening upward, even though we're leaning back slightly. Breath. 
come back to your warrior two. And this is where that chair can um, come in handy if you if you have it and you want to bring it close with the seat or the back. You can do um, your side bend or your triangle by going down like this or using your chair, wrist, or palm. You know, or do a triangle with that leg straight. This might be a good way to begin to practice triangles. That way you don't have to go all the way down. But that chair is there if you need that extra support. A breath, bend the knee. Um, this way the chair does come in handy for me anyway. I'm going to bring that arm down and I'm going to do a twisted uh, side bend, so or a twisted triangle. So this helps you be able to have some support so you can twist a little better. breath and release down. Now, because we do have the chair, we're going to try a warrior three. So the knee is bent, bring your body forward into that front leg and then lift that leg up while keeping the hip down. And if you can do it parallel, great. If you're more like this, that's fine too. If you want to do it on the back of the chair, but this gives you another dimension of being able to work on your balance and your strength and your supporting leg. Breath and release and come up. Come back to the center, arms up like a mountain, toes turned out slightly, shoulders down. See if you can roll up onto the balls of your feet into a nice, Mountain pose, imagining that we've got uh, snow on top, just like outside here. Your big mountain, palms down. Now we're gonna go the other direction. I'm gonna go ahead and move my chair now so it'll be there when I need it. So go ahead and turn out into your bow stance, turning your body to the left, arms up, Do your triangle down, or you've got your chair handy that can help you with your side bend. 
You choose whichever you would like to do. Either bend the knee for a twisted side bend or straighten for a twisted triangle. breath and release now again bring that leg a little bit in you can either put your hands on your chair or on the back and we're going to do our modified warrior three so do turn your hips forward and as you come up you want to make sure that both hips are down toward the seat of your chair shoulders relaxed pulled up out of your body balancing and supporting on your left leg Breath. Very good. Bring that leg down. Come back. Release. Turn the toes forward. Up into your mountain. Shoulders down. Body nice and tall. Now roll up onto the balls of your feet. Spread your toes out. Good. Wonderful. And release and down. Bring it together, shake it out a bit. Too much here. Out, let's try a tree pose. Now, if we're into a tree pose, I'll move my chair, but you might wanna have your chair there for a little extra support. I'm gonna go to the right leg first. Bring your left toes in, breath up. Palms together, hands to heart. Think of the shoulders down. Think of your body sinking very deep. Find your focal point straight ahead. When you feel comfortable, lift that foot at your ankle or your calf, or you can bring it all the way up to your knee. Very good. Release. Breath up. And down, shifting over to the left, just bring your palms in and bring that leg in and find your balance. Breath, step out and up. And down. Very good. Release and just pull in. This is more or less just to loosen up your shoulders and your back, just making slow big circles forward with your shoulders. And then let's go back. So lift, squeezing back and around. Good. One more. Now standing, you know, your nice horse stance, good, solid base. I'd like for you to tilt your ear to your right shoulder. Imagining that your left arm is pushing down so you're elongating that stretch on the side of your body. And then just relax that and tilt the other way. You can push that right arm down. You can really feel 
the tension, the tightness in your neck. Let it stretch. Now from here, just drop your chin and look at the floor. Don't roll the shoulders forward, but you're just dropping your chin. Now come back through the center, looking straight ahead. Then I would like you to think of lifting your chin and looking up to the corner of the ceiling and the wall, not dropping your head